And hey folks, how you doing? Dirty back with a continue let's play of Hero You, Rogue to Redemption. Glad to have you along. Uh, day 16, of course, the thief uh, was caught. Uh, you can see their last episode of the episode before. What do we have now on our journal? Uh, there's a trap door in the gazebo that leads down. Yes, we know about that. Uh, might be able to check that out. Uh, we still have the poor puppy thing. Uh, not quite sure what to do about that. I think I mentioned like last episode that I did notice that in the display cases in the Hall of Heroes, there's like a case with bones and stuff in it and like dog stuff. Um, so I'm wondering maybe we could sneak in there late at night, maybe acquire some of that stuff for the, uh, the dog painting. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah, I think we get like a little bit of a reprieve after that whole thief, uh, story line. Um, to do, let's take a look at Sean. Stamina is not quite, oh, he's, he's beat up his, he's got a split lip bit of bruising around uh, so yeah we're probably not going to run down and fight drats tonight so maybe let's see about this uh, uh, thing at the gazebo so yeah I think we get maybe like a couple days reprieve uh, from story elements uh, look at the trap door examine it open it I think it's locked from the other side. Search. Relax. Attack. The gazebo, better not, might awaken and eat me. What, well, surely you know the steric of Eric and the de dread gazebo. It's terrifying. Um, it used to be a comic uh, dedicated ro to role-playing games. I think it still might be on the go. Uh, it was actually an RPG magazine uh, called um, Knights of the Dinner Table. And that was kind of one of their famous stories, was attacking the gazebo. Katie, maybe things will settle down to normal now that the thief has been caught. There is no normal for here. Is always something going on. No doubt. No doubt. Let's talk to Cesare. Talk to him. Why don't you do everyone a favor and go back to the gutter where you belong? Respond. Say something clever. I'm not leaving this place anytime soon, and neither are you. We could just agree to ignore another entirely. You were the one who started this conversation. Why do you persist in your belief that I desire to speak with you? Again, I change this guy's accent every time I voice him. Why? Because I like talking to you. Our conversations are always so invigorating. Say goodbye. Apparently he liked that. Well, let's talk to Joel. Talk to Joel. It's a relief that this stupid school thief incident is finally over, is it not? How you doing, Joe? Uh, do you really think that we were going to get kicked out of school because of the thief? If the pilfer had not been caught when he did, yes, I think we would have been unwelcome here. There would it not be a disbarred bards class were it not for Master Von Erwald. If our class becomes an embarrassment to the school, our master will be discredited. There will be no rogue class here. Uh, ask about castle secrets. School thief was clearly using secret passageways to get around the school. So how many secret passageway and passageways and entrances are there in the castle? You should talk to the thief about that subject. I know that four concealed no four concealed doors, two doors that can't be opened from the castle side, one concealed door that I can't figure out how to open, and one trap door. I don't suppose you'll let me know where they are. That would be telling. Sleep tight, Joel. I don't know about Joel. I thought he was cool, but I ever heard a conversation he had with uh, Cesare, and it was wasn't really that flattering. Uh, I did forget to start the timer for this episode. There we go. Um, talk to ask me. I'm glad you caught the thief. I was afraid we would all have to leave here. I'm happy to be your hero any day. Ask me. I can be your hero, baby. Uh, ask about her. So how do you like being here at Hero U? Or are you just trying to stay in one place for a while? This place is like a whole new life for me. It's hard, it's sad, but it's good too. At home, all decisions made by the elders of the pack, they would choose where we go, where we stay. They would choose who I am to marry. Here I have choices. Here I make my own future. It's a good thing. I'm glad to be here. Uh, talk about the thief aftermath. So I'm your hero. 
Okay, maybe a little bit of hero. Flirt? Say something clever. I really enjoy spending time with you, whether it's talking about how weird the food is in the dining hall or playing cards. You make me smile just by being near you. Are you saying I'm a funny person? I'm saying that you're a sweet person who is fun to be around, and I'd like to be around you more often. Smarts increase, and she liked that. Say goodnight. Kitty. Kitty McDonald. Tech to Kitty. I figured that you'd be the one to catch a thief. It takes one to know one. Ask about her comment. So how well do you think you know me? Well enough. See something clever. I know that our smarts are up there, so clever should be the safe bet. There is a lot about me you don't know, just as there is a lot about you that I haven't learned yet. I think the more we learn about each other, the more we'll like one another. We'll see about that. Talk with Kitty. Uh, why did you decide to come to this school? After my mother died, my father didn't think it was appropriate for a young woman to manage the inn by myself, even though I'd been the one running it for years. He got my uncle and cousins to run the inn. Since my uncle is a self-righteous boar, his eldest son keeps trying to coerce me into marriage. Woo! Marrying your cousin, E. And my father won't let me go sailing with him. I figured that getting an education was the lesser of evils. I've been in this castle... I've seen this castle on the hill all my life, and I've always been curious what it was like inside. Besides, there's a rumor that the castle has access to the sea caves that run under the island. I want to see them. Say goodnight to Kiti. Do you want me to have a nightmare? Uh, challenge her to a game of darts. I want to get my throwing up. Not throwing up, but my throwing skill up. Okay, but I'll warn you, you're, yes, you're the best dart player. Told you I was good enough to win this game. Uh, all right. Let's. What time is it? 9.50. Ooh, we have to book it back to our room. Um... I did read on Steam that uh, they, there have, I think there's been a patch and there have been like a couple minor changes. Um, they've edited some of the text. Uh, they changed how time passes when you're moving um, and a couple other things. I think some people were having issues when they clicked on certain objects and whatnot. And um, a few episodes ago, I was able to repeat an action that I think I should not have been able to repeat. And I think that's been fixed now. So the developers are still working on this. Um, now, of course, for me, it's like July 18th. And for you, it's I'm talking to you in the future of uh, August like 4th. Um, so there may have been more patches since. I found my missing pan pipe. It was under the pile of clothes by the wardrobe all the time. I checked there like twice. Uh, what's new? So how goes it with you? I'm starting a new song. I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. But you've stolen my heart like a thief in the night. All I want to do is make things right. So let's talk things over in the cruel moonlight. What do you think? Say something clever. The rhyme is so tight, it's quite all right. Talk about the thefts. I'm the one who got the thief. Really? How did you catch him? Who was it? Uh, tell the truth about the quirk. I heard uh, noises outside a room, so I snuck her out and set a trap. When the trap went off, I found that the thief was a quirk. I told him that he had to return everything, or I would take him to Mr. Turk. So even quirks dread Mr. Turk. You caught the con, Sean. Good luck. Good work. Tell him to clean the room. Politely. <laughs> Why don't you clean up your mess so we can tell whether anything is missing or stolen from this room? We'll get around to cleaning it up sometime. Yeah, we get to work on our charm whenever we do that. I will study. Um, keep studying lockpicking. Smarts increased. And we'll go to bed and end off this day. Uh, also, as well, uh, we want to... On some nights, we want to leave apples by the fireplace because that's where the uh, the little furry dude shows up. As I was saying, and that's how you jerk the rope to release the grapnel from above. Try not to let the grapnel hit you on the way down. It's extremely embarrassing to be impaled by your own grapnel. Sounds like a personal story. Uh, in conclusion... A rope and grapnel is not likely to be the most used tool in a rogue set, but there are times when it is invaluable. Master of the skill and always keep a rope and grapnel handy. Are there any further questions? 
Ask a technical question. So what do you do when you can't jerk a grapnel loose? You have a choice. You can either climb back to the top of the rope and reset the grapnel so that it will come loose with a jerk, or if you're in a hurry, you must leave the rope and grapnel behind. Remember, though, that by leaving a rope and grapnel behind, you will call attention to your presence and thus be more likely to get caught. Smarts increased, and he liked that. I expect all of you to have procured a set of rope and grapnels by now, or by tomorrow at the latest. However, there will be a test tomorrow on your lockpicking skills. Suggest you all brush up on your techniques before class. Blast it. Do you have a comment to make, Fraulein McMichael? Sorry, sir, I was just making a note to practice my lockpicking after class. Very good. It would be well for all of you to do the same. Whatever that word is. Again, I am not up on my German. Uh, let's talk to Joel. How's he doing? My day would be much better if you were to purchase some stuff. Uh, okay. Browse the shop. He's got the sleeping powder. He's got the pants. He's got the Houdini 42. So yeah, if we have that lockpicking test coming up, uh, let's practice our lockpicking. I'm hoping some of our classmates are going to be in here. I'm in. How did you learn how to pick locks? It is something we are taught as children, like how to build fires in the forest, how to hunt, how to read portents, and how to dance. You never know what skills can save your life. Ah, hello Katie. Talk to Katie. How are things going for you? Though it'd be going a lot better if I could figure out how these stupid thieves tools are supposed to work. Get to know Katie better. As me, learn things growing up like hunting and dancing. I learned the streets of Caligari. So, what were you taught as a child? My mother taught me how to run an inn, how to cook, and how to keep troublemakers in their place. When I was little, whenever his ship was in port, my father taught me all about ships and seamanship. It was, the only, it was only when I got older that he decided that I did not need to know such things. Ask about thieves' tools. So you're mastering the art of picking locks. Scoff. I, I don't think... Yeah. Scoff. Who says scoff? This is why I'm not an actor. I would get up on stage. Scoff. Uh, I don't know why we're supposed to learn this. It's not like I want to break into houses when I get out of here. At least you won't need to worry about losing the keys to your house. No, it's more likely to. I'm more likely to lose these thieves' tools behind a safe after I throw them against a wall. Ask about rope and grapnel. How are your rope and grapnel skills? About as non-existent as my thieves' tools. When you learn like rope stuff for seamanship, though, say goodbye. Uh, let's talk to Esme. Ask about her. So, has dancing ever saved your life? Actually, yes. That is. Dancing is my life. It makes joy. It makes life worth living. It's about growing up. What was it like growing up as a rover girl? We traveled at the time. Oops, I skipped past that. For the first time in my life, I am in place where I do not awaken in small vegan camped in strange land, surrounded by distrustful strangers. That is as close to home as I have ever known. I ask about lockpicks. So what's the trick to picking a lock? You must be patient. If you take time and think only of field to pick, lock will open gladly for you. Say goodbye. Uh, we did get a journal update when we were talking to Katie, so let's take a look at that. Sounds like Katie is more frustrated than I am with using tools. Maybe I can try to help her sometime. Okay. Help Katie with locks. Do I have any other way? To Oh, nope. Okay, so nothing else to add. Let's talk to Thomas. I wonder if Thomas is actually good at this. Poor guy doesn't seem to be good as, at much. So what skills did your parents think were essential uh, learning when you were growing up? My mother made sure I learned all the social skills like dancing and etiquette. My, mother, my father made sure I learned everything else. Isn't your father a paladin? Yes, he was a paladin. He passed away several years ago. Ask about rope and grapnel. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought you'd be in the practice room working on your rope and grapnel. I wanted to practice my lockpicking skills before tomorrow's test. I'll practice my grapnel skills later. You shouldn't practice alone. If you throw a grapnel as well as you throw a dagger, you're likely to hit yourself on the head with Katie. Stop getting down on, on Thomas. Say something humorous. They both... Oh, everybody like that. The master made using the grapnel look easy, but I'm willing to bet that we'd all wind up with black and... We'd all wind up black and blue from practicing. 
uh, ask about lockpicks. Have you mastered your lockpicking skills yet? I don't think that tomorrow's test will be a problem. I'm supposed to be putting off learning how to use a grapnel. Okay. Don't worry, you're not the only one. I'm sure we could. We would all rather be here than hitting ourselves repeatedly with grapnels. Uh, our climbing skill is actually pretty good. Now let's see if we can do something with the lock. Still locked? Why do they make it so hard? Uh, we did manage to, like, unlock one of them, like, further down at the table. Uh, so yeah, let's practice then, rather than waste time trying to open those. I think I always end up at locker four or five. Knees are getting tired. Uh, and once more, and it's gonna be supper time. We'll do the loop of uh, working at the, uh, oh, it's still quarter five. Maybe we'll try opening one more. We'll do the loop of working at the kitchen. Um, maybe we can try the dungeon tonight, we should be healed up. Still can't quite get it, hey, Sean? Okay. Uh, all right, once more then. And then we're going to have to book it to uh, supper. I think we basically get teleported there if we don't make it there ourselves. That's what it seems like. Because we have, like, three screens to get through. And I think time goes by, like, climbing those stairs. Yeah. He teleports to the dining hall. Um, I can't complain about the food here. It always tastes good, and there's a lot of it. That's why I liked about being in the military. You, like, there was always... You would never starve, basically. Uh, but I always described military food as... It, I wouldn't call it good. Uh, there was always plenty of mediocre food. <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, alright. Let's talk to her. Hi, hi. Ask about her day. Ask about working. Uh, we did get a raise a few episodes back, so we're getting 15, uh, cash now every time that we do this. So we're at 39. Uh, I, I do want to have, like, enough cash for the card game. Which I assume will take place tomorrow night after the um, after the test. So uh, I'll try not to spend any money. Uh, so let's look at our character first. Stamina is 30, thirty out of thirty. Okay. So we are making progress, like further and further into the dungeon. Um, it's good to see the young master again. Do you need anything? Got anything new? Shop at the store. Grapnel magical bandages. Those are ten. Uh, no. Talk to Gregor. See how he's doing. How is Gregor today? Happy as usual because the young master is here to make his day? Wow, Sean, that's kind of egotistical. Yes, indeed. Gregor is happy to see the young master. Gregor hopes that Gregor can sell something good to Master Sean, or better, Gregor hopes that Gregor can soon buy some yummy drafts from him. Let's about the rope and grapnel. You mentioned you have a rope and grapnel for sale. The best rope and grapnel set that money can buy. Gregor now sells at this store. Surely the young master can make use of such a thing. Never leave on adventures without a rope. Ask about raddies. Uh, what do raddies eat besides rats, drats, and proaches? Raddies do much more than eat. Raddies also cook, clean, sew, scavenge, hunt, vermin, and tinker. Raddies must clean the streets of Caligari in the middle of the night. Raddies do many good things. You people clean the streets? Raddies clear the streets of debris and look for things lost or discarded. Raddies repair broken things and make them good as new. We haul away dead things and make great stews. Raddies keep Caligari clean. Oh, huh. seem to be a nice bunch. Um... Okay, let's save it before we go into the dungeon to hunting. Yo, yoy. All right. Uh, so we did get to like a point in the dungeon where there were like mantis type things. Uh, I don't know if we can reach the same point again tonight. We'll have to see no wolf tonight. 
and I'm still going by the assumption that the wolf is Esme. Uh, I do hope at some point we get to unlock actually working with her. It'd be cool to have like a party member. I'd like to get the fine knife if I could. Okay. So far so good. Open the gates. Wine press room. Have we been up there? Can't remember. Oil hinges. We haven't because I haven't oiled the hinges to this. And there's a lock. Ah. This guy is still booging. Sean one lock zero. Well, well, let's go through the wine press room. Maybe it's going to be very impressive. I'm, guess, I'm guessing we're going to have a great time. Uh, Burr, this room seems colder than the rest of the wine cellar. Something sent a chill up my spine. I don't see any signs of drats in this room or anything else that's alive and wanting to eat me. Okay. It's going to eat me. Let's take a look at the press screw. Examine it. Odd, I assume that this was taken from off of one of the barrels for pressing the grapes. But this seems attached to the floor. Interesting. The handle still turns and it looks like it screws into the floor. Move it. Solidly attach. Screw it. Okay, what happens when I turn the screw? It did something. But what? Non-ETF. Uh, look at the bottles. Could it be? Completely empty. It's a cork tease. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything? Ooh. Hello, secret door. That means we have to save. S-E-C-R-E-T-D-O-O-R. -E and I think it's actually thundering outside right now. Um, so if you hear uh, rumbling in the distance, I'm not uh, near uh, World War II reenactment or anything. Uh, let's look through. Okay, this was definitely not open like this before. Turning the screw must have opened the door. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, nothing has attacked me from behind the opening. That's a good start. I guess it's safe to check out. I hope it's safe to check out. Ooh, it's a dead guy. Okay, this is ominous. A skeleton sitting on the ground next to a small pile of bones it is eerie to begin with. But there is writing on the wall that looks like blood. I get really creeped out. Huh. Looks like a dead, like, rat as well. Or dog. Examine the skeletons. These bodies have been here for a long time. There's not much left to them but bones. It sort of looks like someone passed out after drinking too much. The smaller skeleton looks like it could have been a cat. How did they end up trapped in this sealed room with some name scrawled in blood and wine across the wall? Ooh. Okay. Got really cold in here all of a sudden, like I'm walking on a grave. Well, I guess it is what I'm doing right now. Uh, examine the skeleton. Let's try taking the bones. Uh, these are the, just the things to add to my cl collection, which is exactly the sort of statement a person going to villain university would say. Me, I've already collected the whole set. Okay, so I don't really collect bones. Uh, he would have a fit if I put him in our room, but then again, he probably never noticed with all the clutter. But I can take a closer look to see what happened to this poor guy. Okay, let's... Ooh! It's a g g g g ghost Yikes. Whoa! Ghost Burgundy. Ghost Cat Chintani. I really wish I could speak ghost. I'm sure you're trying to tell me something. How to talk to ghosts. Journal menu. Oh man, yeah, I just saw a big flash of lightning. Um, not in the game. I actually outside. Uh, lucky in locks. How to talk to ghosts. I need to find a way to talk to ghosts and understand what they're saying. Huh. Alright. Uh, I think you're trying to tell me something, but I don't understand. I don't speak ghosts. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the writing. Examine the writing. The writing looks like it was written with wine, maybe blood. It says Aquino. So Aquino is the name of the person who wrote the message, or... The one who did this to the writer. The writer seems really angry. I'd be angry too if I was walled up in a room to die. Let's touch the writing. Ooh, even the worlds are icy cold and wet, like they never dried. Worse, there's the overwhelming smell of blood and decay right now. Well, dude, um, you just, let's take a look at this grate. 
Looks like a great time. Someone or something managed to bend the bars. Whatever it is, I don't want to be here when they make a return visit. Yeah, let's stick our hand through. Nothing but good stuff happens, I'm sure. It's very dark in there. I can't see in for more than a couple feet. Could be bitten or grabbed. I could even imagine something pulling me in so hard that they would pull my arm off or crush my shoulders and actually suck me in there. Plus, I left my death wish in my other pants. Maybe it's just a clown with a balloon. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to leave this guy for now because we don't speak g -g 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 ghost. It's hard to be rough. A tough, yeah. Well, where are we going to learn to speak ghost, I wonder? Who would know that type of thing? Maybe a paladin? Maybe something in the library? I don't know if there's like a book on the paranormal or something. That's all I can figure right now. Three on one here, so we're probably going to get beat up a little bit, so we'll probably run back upstairs after this encounter. Oh, that was a beautiful hit, 15. We're doing more and more damage. Yeah, we can one-hit these guys now. Sean is one-stab man. One-stab. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Die rat. All right. Yeah, we're going to head back. Plus, I always like, like to have an hour of studying every night. Like, even playing uh, the Persona games, um, I always, like, get the, the kids studying up. One more fight then, okay. Haven't played the uh, haven't played the new Persona, uh, Persona Five, I think it is. So would like to do that one day, but I uh, don't have a PS4 right now. We're about what, like halfway through the PS4 life cycle at this point, so I don't know if I will get one. I do have a PS3 in storage. Um. I did get good to use out of the PS3, though. All right, Gregor, I got some good stuff for you. Sell the loot. And we have 49. Suggested that we have uh, 50 coins for uh, the card game, which I assume is going to happen tomorrow night. Don't suppose there's a shortcut. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if I can go to the Hall of Heroes, too, and leave a apple for our friend the little blue guy. The quirk. It's a meep to me, but... Let's see. Might be too early. See, this is what I was talking about. Um, that bone. What happens if we try to open this? It's locked. Maybe not right now. But I'm kind of thinking maybe that will like placate the ghost dog. Uh, fireplace. Leave an apple. Let's see if this makes the quirk a little happier. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to stick around because curfew's coming up. So we'll rush back to our room. Leave the door. And uh, that will be the... Oops! That will be the end of the episode. Because uh, actually this episode is probably running a little bit long because I did forget to set the timer at the start. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll just get back to our room. Here. Open the door. It's kind of hoping the quirk would show us how to open that relief. Oh, it's Panpipe Dude. I saw a vision of beauty today. A maiden of mercy inhabits the infirmary. Lady Moira is... Let me guess, he's going to go through the entire student and teacher population saying that he loves everybody. Anyway, uh, yeah, end of things off there. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe we can do something about the g, -g, -g, g ghost next time. Take care. Have yourself a great day.